Welcome everyone to yet another video of my channel that is fast and easy maths which is dedicated for giving you tips and tricks related to mathematics. So students today in this video we are going to discuss the basic concepts of mathematics and as we know the, there are only four basic concepts of mathematics that is nothing but addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Now students you must be wondering that addition, subtraction, multiplication and division is very very easy. Why am I actually making a video on such easy topics? Actually students in my career as a professor I have come across so many students who are at a higher grade but they still get confused when there are two or more of these signs involved in a simple equation. So let's just first write down what are the rules of addition and subtraction. Okay, so here if we have same sign then we add and if we have different signs then we subtract okay so this these are the rules for addition and subtraction okay now here very important thing to note down is the final answer will carry sign of greater number okay so let's take for example i have minus 5 plus 8 so here as we can see there are two signs and both of them are different so if they have different signs, we are talking about subtraction. So the overall operation for this one is nothing but subtracting. Therefore, when you subtract 5 from 8, the answer is 3. And here students, the final answer will carry the sign of the greater number. So here the greater number is 8 and its sign is positive. So we will have positive 3 as the answer. Students as all of you must be knowing that we do not write plus any number without any sign in front of it is supposed to be taken as positive. Okay now let's take another example. Let's say you have 6 plus minus 10. Now students this is very interesting. Here you have two signs but both of these signs are close to each other. Okay. So in this case whenever you have two signs closer to each other and both of them are opposite to each other means they are different signs. You will still stick to this rule and this will then turn into 6 plus and minus will then become minus 10. So now we have 6 minus 10. Again, we will do the subtraction. So, when you take 6 away from 10, you get 4. And the final answer will have the sign of the bigger number. And as we can see, the sign carried by the bigger number over here, which is 10, is negative. So, my final answer will be negative 4. Okay, students. Now, let's say we have minus 7, minus Two. Here we are dealing with two numbers and both of them seem to be negative. So here we are saying that, so here we are seeing that the two numbers, both of them are having same signs. So the final operation over here would be of addition. So we will do 7 plus 2, that is nothing but 9. And the sign carried will be the sign of the bigger number. And here the bigger number is nothing but 7 
whose sign is negative so final answer will be negative now let's take another example where i have 8 minus minus 4 here also if you look closely we have two signs both of them are same so we have same signs so that will these two signs will then change into a positive sign so 8 plus 4 and as we know 8 plus 4 is nothing but 12 and since the bigger number was 8 whose sign is positive so my final answer will also be a positive answer now students let's see if we reverse the signs in this one if we have 5 minus 8 so here again we see 5 is positive and 8 is and 8 is negative so we have two different signs and when you have two different signs the overall operation will be of subtraction so you will subtract 5 from 8 the final answer will be 3 but the final answer always carries the sign of the greater number and the greater number over here is 8 whose sign is negative so my final answer will be negative students these concepts look very easy when you're doing it for the first couple of times but in order to get all these rules completely fitted in your mind i suggest at least you solve 20 or 30 these kind of sums and students i can make these kind of sums for you all so that you can practice if you want me to make those questionnaires which will have answers as well then you can please leave a comment as yes so that i can make those questionnaires online for all of you all. moving on now we will discuss the rules for multiplication and division students the rule for multiplication and division is simple here you have to just bother about your final answer okay this will be positive if there are same signs and it will be negative if we have different signs so let's see how this is working when i give you 3 into 2 your answer directly becomes 6 but when i give you minus 4 into minus 3 again your answer will be 4 into 3 is nothing but 12 but since both of them are negative we will have a positive answer because my rule says that the answer will be positive only when there are same signs involved now let's see what happens when you multiply a negative 2 to positive 8 here as we can see we have different signs so my answer automatically becomes negative and 2 into 8 is nothing but 16 similarly let's try 7 into minus 9 as we can see here the numbers are having different signs 7 is positive and 9 is negative so 7 into 9 is 63 and my answer will eventually be a negative answer because both of them are having different signs so students please understand the final answer over here does not depend on the sign of the bigger number it depends whether they are having different signs or whether they are carrying the same signs okay now let's see what happens when you divide 16 by 4 since both of them are positive means both of them are carrying the same signs my final answer will be just positive 4 now what happens when you divide 27 by negative 3 so since here one of them is positive and the other is negative so my final answer will automatically will come negative and 27 divided by 3 is nothing but minus 9 now let's see what happens when i d when i divide minus 48 by positive 6 so here as we can see both of them are having different signs so my final answer will have a negative sign and 48 divided by 6 is nothing but 8. So my final answer becomes negative 8. 
Now let's see what happens when I'm dividing minus 12 by minus 6. So students, you must be noticing that I am putting brackets for only few numbers. If you can see, I am putting brackets only when there are two signs besides these, uh, each other. You don't have to put negative 12 or plus 27 over here in bracket because there is no other sign besides the negative sign over here. Okay. So whenever you have two signs beside each other, it is better to put them in bracket because that gets you much clarity when you're solving a sum which has got higher number of calculations. So here, as we can see, we have 12, which is negative. We have six, which is again negative. So negative and negative will get you a positive answer and 12 divided by six is nothing but two. So students, I'm sure these sums are now looking easier and these rules are also now looking easier to follow. But it would be a lot of help if you can solve at least 20 to 30 these kinds of sums involving all of these rules. So if you want me to make that questionnaire, then don't forget to leave a comment saying yes, you want that questionnaire to be done so that I can quickly start working on it. So that's it for this video. And don't forget to share these videos to people whom you think these might this might be very, very useful. And also do not forget to subscribe my channel if you're new to this. Okay, so I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.